Welcome back guys, Sherry here. Now I've recently had some of you guys ask me about giant ancient cores. We all need them. We need them to obtain the ancient bow, not only the bow, but we also need them to obtain the ancient shield. Now, if you guys don't know where to get these items, you're gonna head to the Akala Tech Lab and you're gonna speak to Robbie. Not only do we need these giant ancient cores to obtain the weaponry, but we also need it to upgrade our ancient armor, which you can also get at the Tech Lab. So I'm gonna show you how to get these cores right now. Let's get into it. First, let's go over how you get these giant ancient cores. Now, there are three types of guardians that will drop the giant ancient cores. The guardian stalker, the guardian sky watchers, and the guardian turret. Now, you can get these giant ancient cores from chests, but that's very far and few between. So now I know what some of you might be thinking, great, guardians, they're a pain to kill and ancient arrows are expensive. Well, I'm also gonna go over some different methods to kill these guardians and I'm gonna show you a method so that every single ancient arrow you use will produce you a giant ancient core. But now if you just wanna skip forward to the method that I use in collecting these cores, I'll leave a timestamp in the description. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna suggest when you're trying to kill these guys is get yourself some ancient weaponry. I like to use the ancient battle axe. Now if you don't know where to get these, you can find these in the Test of Strength shrines. My favorite shrine is the Tina Kosa Shrine. And the reason why I like this shrine is because it's gonna give you a battle ax, a sword, and a shield. So if you'd like to see a little trick on how to defeat these guys and take no damage, you can click the link in the upper right hand corner. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description. A couple more things you can do that might help you is you can cook yourself up a dish. You can use four mighty bananas and a shard from a dragon's horn and make yourself a 30 minute, three times attack power. Now, if you don't know how to farm the dragons, I'm gonna leave links in the description. Or you can also make yourself a three times movement speed boost by using the fleet lotus seeds and a horn from the dragons. And guys, you don't have to use the shards from the dragons. I just like the additional time that it adds, especially if I'm just running around killing guardians and I'm not necessarily looking for giant ancient cores and I'm just trying to gather ancient parts these buffs really help because these guardians respawn after a blood moon so every blood moon i just run around and gather ancient parts now before you engage in battle with one of these guardians the first thing you want to do is save your game that way you don't lose anything you can just go back and reload your game and try again now the first method i'm going to go over is just running up on a guardian that doesn't see you and then we're gonna take our battle ax and we're just gonna chop its legs off. By chopping the legs off, it will cause it to produce more ancient parts. So this is a great method if you're just farming for ancient parts. And once you chop the legs off, then you can just go up and start wailing on it. Now, sometimes these guys will just start randomly shooting like this one. So just try not to get caught up in the crossfire. Another method we can use is to use stasis, but be careful here because it doesn't last very long. So you need to run up on it quick and cut the legs. Now one of the best methods is just to shoot it in the eye and stun it because you can do this over and over again. Then let's go and chop off the legs. But what if you don't have time to get the legs chopped off and it starts shooting at you again? Well, just hit it in the eye and stun it again. Now I know I'm finishing with Urbosa's Fury. What if you don't have that or your weapons are not that strong? Well, just continue this process. Shoot it in the eye and stun it and then go well on it until it's about to shoot at you again, shoot it in the eye again. But a lot of this, guys, is just practice. So save your game, get in their face, and just practice. So speaking of practice, that leads us into one of our last methods besides just an ancient arrow to the face, and that's to parry the lasers. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this method because of timing, but if you will hold the ZL and hold your shield, and right when you see the white light, in its eyes flash hit the a button the timing is going to be almost perfect and you should parry it every time but again guys this just takes practice now i would not suggest trying to parry the sky watchers especially in high grass not to mention when you reflect the laser sometimes it hits them and sometimes it doesn't 
I feel like an ancient arrow works best with them, and it also helps to get up in the air just because they move around so much in the sky. Now let's go get these giant ancient cores. Now when I'm hunting for the cores, I typically only use ancient arrows just because this can be a very tedious, time-consuming process and I like to kill them quick. I also like to use my horse when I'm hunting the stalkers. That way I can get up in the air. Now I have the ancient gear on my horse. That way I can summon him from anywhere. If you don't know where to get it, you can click the link in the upper right hand corner. I'm also going to leave a link in the description. Now, as you just saw, I saved my game. This is very important here. Save your game before you encounter any of these guardians. And here is why we want to save our game. Just in case they do not drop a giant ancient core, all we have to do is go back and reload that save. And then we just repeat the process by saving and loading until they do drop the giant ancient core. That's why this can be so tedious and time consuming, but it works. Now, once you see that they do drop the giant ancient core, pick it up, save your game, and move on to the next guardian. It is possible for a guardian to drop two giant ancient cores, but that rarely ever happens. Same thing goes for the turrets and the sky watchers, guys. Just repeat the process, save and reload. Now, again, this can be a very tedious process, but if you need those giant ancient cores, this works. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, please smash that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I'll just catch you guys next time.